The junkyard has been cleared of all of the recent additions and is ready to display the latest junkers to enter the yard. Despite the fact that my table is becoming very crowded with new purchases that I need to show you guys and a whole bunch of stuff I'm going to be opening up including a second set of these Hitch and Tow Series 2 vehicles since I only opened a couple of the different vehicles when I first did the review. Um, but first of all, this box down here in a lowly corner of my Hot Wheels room has been awaiting a video for many, many months. It's a little box of Junkie Real Riders by Hot Wheels. Fittingly, this little box of Real Riders, which is actually deceptively heavy, very heavy box, probably weighs about five or six pounds, maybe more. Labeled Junkyard. What better place to examine each of these cars as they come out of the box? The first one out of the box is going to be this Jeep CJ7. Rather beat up looking unit. No windshield. Lots of paint loss. Crooked roll bar. A real gem, wouldn't you say? A little bit of frosting on that base. Nice tires, though. Let's put that one in the back there. And uh, this would be a very valuable piece if it weren't in such bad condition. The good old pick em up. With the plastic motorcycles in the back, maroon paint, plastic chrome base, if you'll call that chrome, not really sure. Nice old junkyard finds. Next to the box we've got the good old Byway Man. This is actually the plow version of the Byway Man. It would have had a plow, I believe. Or am I mistaken on that? I may be mistaken on that. If it had the plow though, it would be the Super Scraper. Or some other name variation of it. These are interesting castings because they came with these toolboxes in the back corner. That's what they call them anyways. See those two little toolboxes that are squared pieces of the metal casting. There's a variation for most of these vehicles in the early 80s where some may have toolboxes and some may not. And here to prove my point perfectly is one without the toolbox. You can see it's just got the black base in the, in the back of the uh, truck bed. So this is definitely a byway man, as it never would have had a plow. Looks like somebody may have stepped on it at one point, knocking off a couple of the uh, fog lights that are supposed to be on that roll bar. But the lovely thing about old Hot Wheels is they just keep on rolling. Next we've got a Jeep Scrambler. Quite a cool pickup, pickup truck style Jeep from the mid 80's. This one would have been released in 1985. All metal. And a 1940 Ford two-door coupe. Quite the hot rod. Got a nice rake to it, doesn't it? Might be uh, catching a few boulders on this rough terrain driving around in that thing. And here we go with the Henry's Plowing. This would be fall under the Super Scraper casting designation. As you can see it would have had a plow on the front but the plow has been broken off leaving only the plastic fog lamp behind. No toolbox variation of this white rim reel rider. And yet another Henry's Hauling Super Scraper missing its plow as well. No toolboxes. Getting a little pile of these super scrapers. Oh boy, another super scraper. This one's the Brian Snow and Dirt Removal variety. And I have a few of these, some with the toolboxes, some without. These are also quite pricey little trucks if you find them in good condition. 
And we've got a Dodge Rampage here. Nice little mid-80s car with the three-wheel motorized trike in the back. Both of these uh, car and trike would be quite rare to see on the roads today, I would think. At least here in uh, salt-ridden Canada. I do believe trikes are illegal. And another old byway man. This one amazingly still has its fog lamps, but it has toolboxes in the back. I'm not sure how well this one rolls, but there you go. And the 40s Woody. Missing its front tires. One of the cool things about these real riders is that the tires are all removable. And this one here has the jack-up rear suspension called the High Raker. This white rim 40s Ford two-door looks like it got a haircut. And another good old Jeep, CJ7. Wheels just barely hanging on to this one on the front. Here we have a Dodge D50, also a high raker. Wheels look like they're just hanging on as well. Hanging on for dear life. Survived 30 to 40 years of play. And has now ended up in my safe haven. And here's a first release Jeep Scrambler. Well, not first release, no. First release was in gray, but this is an early release. About 1987 or so. Looks like uh, we've got two of those, so really no difference there. Just in the chips. And here's a nice little three-window uh, coupe. Ford three-window, is it? 34 Ford three-window, I believe that's what Hot Wheels calls this one. It's a high raker as well. This one features metallic red paint, or what's left of it, missing its front headlights. And here's a black Jeep Scrambler. This one would be from about 1983. It's quite a nice little piece, isn't it? What real rider collection is complete without an AC Cobra opening hood? Check out that beautifully detailed little engine. May have suffered a rollover at some point as the windshield is just about flat, but it looks like the head protector saved the driver's life. And here we have the Turbo Streak, I believe. Turbo Streak or Thunder Streak? Might be getting those mixed up. Nice little Formula One car. That would be the Thunder Streak because this is the Turbo Streak. They look almost the same, except this one has the lower profile spoiler on the back. As you can see, this one has a bigger, higher spoiler. And the chassis is made of plastic, on, is the white part, with red metal. Whereas this one's all metal. So it's a bit of a heavier casting. There's another Turbo Streak variation of it. A little Dodge Dakota S10 or something. Chevy, Chevy, what am I saying, Dodge? Chevy S10. They call this one the Beach Patrol. Here it is in white. With slightly more aggressive off-road tires by the looks of it. You got the heavy treads on this one. And the more smooth street style ones on the, uh, the 1989 release, being the black one. And to confirm that somebody didn't just go and switch the tires, here's another one. Again with street tires. This Baja Bug would have had street tires on the front with the larger tire, meaty off-road tires on the back. But somebody has since pecked them off. And this one here got its off-road tires shifted to the front wheels. 
and somebody's put on some old uh, looks like uh, slot car tires on the back these are definitely not real riders but better than nothing I would have to say better than nothing there's a very common red Cobra real rider also has the opening hood and finally the last vehicle in my box is this 1985 release of the Jeep CJ7 well I do hope you enjoyed my Hot Wheels themed real rider video in the junkyard a nice little mound of cars and uh, it's nice for me to finally have made a video for these things because I had intended to do that quite some time ago so they'll find a nice place in the junkyard rather than this box stay tuned for a whole bunch more videos